Alright, what's going on guys? Luke here with another PvP build for the Firestone patch. I'm on my Magicka Warden with an insane one VX build. Magdans are brutal in this patch. Mainly because of one change with the passive Glacier Presence. Increase the damage of your chills to this effect by flat 1k. And this effect scales of your highest offensive stat. It deals around 600 to 1.4, 1.5k damage. It's basically like another Proxit. And it ticks insanely often with uh, this build here. And another change with Piercing Code, which gets 12% extra damage with an Ice Staff slotted. Huge damage buff. On the front bar, I'm using the Master's Perfected Ice Staff for over 600 extra spell damage and cost reduction on our spammable Frost Reach. The Range Morph, which instant applies the Chill Status effect. Definitely more damage than the other morph. The other morph applies major maim, 10% damage reduction, so it's up to you which one to use. Backbar set Miles Balm, you know the set, has a nice hot, and purge 6 negative effects plus the second effect which heats by around 8 to 10k plus. Mythic Marcoon, like always, on the body Winterborn, still probably the strongest proxit for a warden. Alternative, you can go with Red Mountain or Way of Fire, that kind of stuff. And as Monster said, just one piece of score for extra penetration. I'm on one heavy, one medium, five light, five impen, one sturdy and one well fitted, full prismatic glyph, one prismatic and two spell damage on the jewelry with full infused, like always. Front bar masters stuff in sharpened with the frost damage enchant and back bar mars bomb one and in shield powered sturdy with the escape is poisons. Skills front bar fetch and faction strong dot which also applies minor vulnerability 5% extra damage. Deep fissure for minor major breach frost reach or spammable bird of prey for minor berserk major expedition. And our snare removable, really strong. Then crystallize slab instead of shimmering shield. This morph here is super underrated. Deeds a ton of frost damage. Same effect like a shimmering shield. Absorbs projectiles and gives magicka back. And on top even stuns the enemy. Really, really powerful. Never used it before and I'm super impressed about it. Aggressive ultimate, Dawnbreaker. Back bar, still Lotus Blossom for Major Prophecy, extra healing, sustain, gives also Major Mending, really strong. Blue Betty for sustain and Major Sorcery, really strong in Vega self heal, Ice Fortress Resistance buff, Arctic Blast, and COE stun, Dot, and Burst heal, and Sparrow as Defense Ultimate. Ray still not, simply because it's my stamina water too. Breton, High Elf, or Dunmo should be probably better. Mundus the Atonarch for Magicka region, Clockwork Citus for this buff food, 34 points Magicka and the rest in health. Potions, mainly the Tricep Potions and the Detention Potions against Annoying Eye Blades. CPs, Biting Aura, Master Darms, Ironclad and Dose Rebuff, Red Run, Sustain by Suffering, Pensifuge, Celerity and Slippery. Quick talk about one PvP combination. Pre-buff yourself always with Blue Betty, Lotus Blossom, Resistance Buff and Arctic Blast. Also Crystal Slap. Then Deep Fissure. Into Fetch Infection, DB, Frost Reach. Had some decent fights with my Magicka Warden. Enjoy the gameplay footage. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, you hopefully in the next video. Peace. I think it's on to me that you ain't coming back. I've lost my chance to see us find our way back And in the end I miss these trying times I'll always try to find you I'll lie to you to find the truth that you hold back So stay
talk to me And it's so funny, you're all I wanted And I can't talk, want you out of my life So say none, I'll wait for days If you ain't one, I'll say none So stay Together we'll fall apart